chick in a hot dog costume, and you're watching the Balloon Blast Video Show with Scott Tripp and Sam Crumings. Rise above three twists, balloon dogs, no bad clowns, and cheap wigs here. Raise the bar, prove our art form. It's the Balloon Blast Video Show with Scott Tripp and Sam Crumings. Hi folks and welcome back to Balloon Blast. He's Scott Tripp. He's Sam Cremains. And we've got a lot of neat stuff for you today. You know, we have so much material. When I started this show, I was afraid that I would run out and we'd have nothing to put in here. And it seems every week we have more than we could fit into an episode. I know, I know. And if you guys had the patience to sit through a two-hour episode, <laughs> we would do a two-hour episode. Um, as it stands, we spent four hours an episode. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm not sure what you're going to see later on in the show, but I know what you're going to see now. The stuff on the table. And I haven't really prepped you for what we're doing here. Um, I like to fancy myself as a bit of a balloon historian, mm -hmm. which is funny because I have a terrible, terrible memory. <laughs> I, I like balloon history. I don't claim to know it all, right. but it fascinates me. And I want to tell you a little bit about some stuff on the table, starting with the most unusual item. This is a deflated balloon. <laughs> Very unusual. This is a 660 uh, Batelitex balloon, and it's a pearl. I don't know if you would know the color. Pearl, um, You're the bee guy. Um, all right. No idea. Well, this is from the last time Twist and Shout was in St. Louis. This was on stage. Um, I'm going to butcher the name, but Guido from uh, Batelitex, he had this really awesome stage performance where uh, Susan Herring came out on stilts with a big dragon costume made of Linka loons. And um, the, gen the idea behind it was Batelitex gave birth to the 660 balloon. So this is the one he had on stage. Being This is how terrible of a nerd I am. After the uh, banquet where they did this, I ran around back, got the balloon off the stage, deflated ah. it, put it in my drawer. This is the same balloon from Ladies five, and gentlemen, six years ago. Scott Trip Balloon Stalker. The sickness runs deep. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a segment called balloon hoarding at some point. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, saving old bags of balloons is one thing, but uh, it gets bad. But at the very same twist and shout in St. Louis, I sat one table away from Ted and Betty Blamus from Pioneer slash Qualitex. And it was fun to see them go up, and each company got to do their sort of pitch to the balloon world. This was the year that Geo Blossoms disappeared. You, you, I remember that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I had a case of these, <laughs> especially the white Geo Blossoms, because we had no idea if they would come back or not. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, who was it? Um, it was Ted who announced that Geo Blossoms would come back. And. He got some cheers, and I may have this backwards. And then Betty said, we get our brown balloons back. Cocoa brown balloons disappeared around the same time. Do you remember that as well? I kind of do. Mostly I was more distraught over the loss of the uh, blossoms myself because I'm too lazy to make a five or six petal flower and the geo blossoms really do the trick for me. But that was then, and now geo blossoms yeah. do so much yeah, more. And now they're everywhere, yeah. He makes a lot of the Hulk hands from yeah, they could bring I it. Do. Balloon-animals.com. Um, yeah, what was amazing to me, we got the Qualitex got rid of cocoa brown, which is a really dark, almost black brown color. Uh -huh. And you know how Scooby Doo and uh -huh. reindeer, everything. You'd make it out of brown, but the kids would be like, "Why is it black?" We didn't have a brown balloon. Um, they brought back the mocha at that point. So what I thought was really funny was I think it was. Uh, Ted Lamus said the Geos were coming back, and there was a little cheer from the crowd, yay! And then Betty said, and you're going to have your Browns back, and everyone went crazy. Geos? No love? But, um, we have both now. We have, we don't have cocoa, but we have chocolate brown, pretty much the same shade. Mm, yeah. Um, do we want to dig in here and check that out? Hey, you know what? We haven't talked about this. So this is your collection, so, uh... Let me give you the... No, I'll give you the chocolate. I'm not going to make okay. you blow up the old one. See, just how close uh, the old cocoa brown and uh, chocolate brown are. Very close. Huh. I wonder why they bought... Wow. All right, the cocoa is its not a jewel tone, but it's a little bit more. It's a, a little translucent. Translucent. 
Um, I don't know if we can hold that up to a light. The studio light might not show through there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the cocoa brown's a little more translucent, or the chocolate brown a little more uh, uh, To opaque. be fair, yeah, cocoa brown, these are 2005. Yeah, so, so yeah. Yeah, give it seven years. I'm very bad at doing math. <laughs> I always have to edit and put something, but yeah, yeah. give it seven years. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much, Qualitex slash Pioneer, for bringing back the geos and bringing back the brown and giving us another shade of brown. Thanks to Patelotex for the 660s. and uh, I love the 660s. Thanks, uh, Susan Herring and Guido, for um, another treasure for my horrible hoarding collection. All right. Is that enough? I think that's you enough. That's awesome. Hey there, welcome back to Scraps and Crap. Let's do something with a bunch of scraps. Now, it seems that so far, we have, <laughs> I'm bringing out the big bucket for this. We've discussed how to make balloons, minimize scraps, or use scraps from the balloons that you're making. But no matter what, you're generating a bunch of balloon scraps, right? So let's look at a way to uh, use some random scraps. Let's uh, actually get a big handful of scraps here. Eh, various colors. We want to use balloon scraps that are at least three inches in length. Um, we're using a lot of these and we're using a hand pump. I'm blowing up a lot of segments and the electric pump is just too much for the, uh, <laughs> the microphones here. All right, what we're gonna do is take this one. I'm picking one with the uh, nozzle first. I'm gonna tie a knot here. Blow up your balloon about roughly yay big. And I like to really leave a little bit of knot on there because this is a balloon that's supposed to be sort of self-aware. It's not supposed to look necessarily like the animal, but it should look like a balloon representation of the animal. Almost a parody of itself. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to take the next one, another color, and we're going to make all these balloons roughly the same size. We're actually making a dog. We're making not a three-twist dog, but a nine-twist dog. So we're tying these two scraps together. And I have a, a place over here to put my scrap scraps. All right, we had yellow there. I'm varying the colors a bit. Ah, this is one of those segments with a, it's just a tube. So be sure to tie that there and pump this one up. And what we're doing essentially is using different scraps as a link of loon of sorts. Just think of them as a uh, two inch diameter by however long link of loon. Now that's going to be the head of the dog. So we need a neck. The neck will be short. Let's use uh, pink? Yeah, why not? Pink. Okay. Briefly, I did. I was thinking about using a redneck. That, that's what that pause was. <laughs> but that's insensitive to our redneck viewers out there. <laughs> you know who you are. All right. <laughs> Let's use some orange. Did I get the sign to cut there? No? Okay. <laughs> Keep that in. Good. All right. That's the neck. This will be the legs. I'll go a little longer than the legs. Why not? Trim. And I am trimming all the uh, the garbage out of there from each of the uh, leg twists. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff at every junction. You don't want it to be too cluttered. Size it up. That's my uh, skillful balloon sizing there. Once again, this is a balloon that is sort of uh, self-aware. So if it's a little bit off, it adds to the charm. Or... That's what I'll say anyway. Why not? All right, dog's body. Hmm. Perhaps I should have saved that one. Oh, well. I'm trying to uh, vary the colors out here. I do want to keep a uh, want a bright color for the tail, maybe. Uh, let's let's do this. We'll use dark purple here. And we'll go green next. Let's see. What was that? That was the body. This will be a leg. Size it with a leg there. A little smaller, a little smaller. Good. Other leg. What does go with purple? Green. That's another tube piece. Tie the end. Blow it up. Make sure the legs are the same size ish. Kinda. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the jokes that I don't say out loud. <laughs> the ones that I can't say during the show, those are the funny ones. <laughs> All right, and we haven't used gray. No, I don't want gray on there. Let's use, is that red? Wildberry? You no, know, honestly, in my scrap bucket, that could be anything. Ooh, what am, what am I doing with the pearl uh, gemstone? 
All right, we have a uh, ruby red. Let's uh, tie it off there. Maybe that's why it went over my scrap bucket in the first place, huh? Okay, tie those together. Trim the crap. Just scraps. All right, so you have a chain of bubbles. Make that into a dog. Twist the ears. I can't believe I'm actually teaching a nine, <laughs> the nine balloon dog on this show. Who would have thought that day would come, huh? Like so. And let's roll the tail back there to uh, lock the tail in. Do the little poodle tail puff. Boom. And there you have a Frankenweenie. Hey, just in time for the movie release. Just in time to be three weeks late for the movie release. But um, that's all out of scraps. And you know kids really like the uh, the rainbow color balloon. That should be tucked in there again. Right? They really like the rainbow color dog. Of course an agate balloon dog would be cool too. What? This is all made out of scraps. No cost to you. I'm only paying time, but uh, it's a way to recycle. Go green, use your scraps and crap. That's it for scraps and crap. Yay! Woof, 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 woof. Well, that brings up another week of Balloon Blast. Uh, Man, it's like every week we do one of these. I know. <laughs> oh, well. This has been another one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that one guy who watches every uh, week and clicks dislike enjoyed it, too. Yeah, that's that's funny to me. Um, <laughs> Keep coming back for more. <laughs> yeah, even a dislike still counts as a view. Ah. ah. All right. <laughs> I told you the idea about the, uh, the contest entry. I've always wanted to enter a uh, Worst Balloon Twister contest and win. Because then you're an award-winning award balloon twister. Yeah, I think we should uh, host that contest for ourselves. Oh, um, speaking of which, let's get let's wrap up the old contest. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, um, our old contest tomorrow is the last day we will receive submissions. For some of you watching this a day late, that's today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> December first. Uh, December first will be the last day we receive submissions. We're going to announce the winners 
on December 14th because it's going to take us two weeks to do all the math because we're both terrible at math. That's why we're balloon guys. Right. It'll take a week to talk about it, six mm -hmm. days to plan it, and a day to finally get around to it. And at least four hours a day to find lunch. Right. Yeah. Let's see, we did Thai food. We have to do Ethiopian food. Hey. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. Anyway, that's enough about that, and we'll have the big uh, wrap-ups, scavenger hunt extravaganza episode. And uh, please, somebody, do the inside the six-foot balloon sandwich challenge. That'll be cool. Yeah, I really want to see somebody eat a sandwich inside a six-foot balloon. All right. I don't know why, but it's something <laughs> before. That's on my bucket list. Make it happen, folks. Yay. All right. This has been the Balloon Blast Video Show. He's Scott Tripp. He is Sam Cremains. And um, we've had a lot of fun this week, so <laughs> catch you guys next week. You and I in a little toy shop Buy a bag of balloons with the money we've got Set them free at the break of dawn So one by one, they were gone Back at the base, sparks in the software Flash the message, someone's out there Floating in the summer sky 99 red balloons go by 99 red balloons Floating in the summer sky And it fails to spread a There's something here from somewhere else The war machine screams the light Opens up one eager eye Focusing it on the sky The 99 red balloons go by Hi folks, Sam Kermeen's here with Balloon Blast with another tutorial for you. I'm going to do the one balloon Triceratops dinosaur. Okay, we're going to start with our 360 or 260 rather. Inflate it to about there because we got a lot of twisting to do. I'm going to twist, and twist that in there. We need a loop twist, loop twist there, and uh, almost done. I oh, don't know, we're not almost done. We need legs. More legs, the tail, and there we, oops, okay, we, uh, we dropped it there. Oh, and here is our one balloon, Triceratops.